Welcome to Veggies and Herbs. My name is Ruben Malale. And I'm excited this month to be back with the June edition of what we are planting and what we are growing. So it's officially winter in South Africa. I've seen last week on social media that some gardeners in the Bushfield and in the Northern Cape already experienced their first frost. I hope your garden survive the cold period. And please share with us some of the techniques that you're using to protect your crops. In this, on this side of the world, in the Western Cape, we experienced a whole week of winter rain. Uh, it was uncomfortable a little bit in the garden, but hey, our plants do need that lovely drink. So today, I was just give an update on how far we are with the series. So if you remember, we started off with some carrots in March. Uh, so this variety is the Pahisian uh, carrot variety. It's quite a unique variety. It produces round carrots that is similar shape as radish. So uh, I've planted them in March and today I will just be thinning out some of the carrots. So I don't like things to go to waste. So I prefer to thin out my carrots at a time when I can at least get some baby carrots. I will thin out the, this variety, this carrots, and allow the carrots then to grow better. So as you can see, it's quite beautiful small round carrots, quite unique, compact plants. So if you are an urban gardener, have, you have limited space, this is ideal actually for raised beds, for containers, and for, for some gardeners with small space. So I just wanted to experiment with this variety, but it is quite a cute, beautiful uh, variety. And I will definitely uh, do a second sowing also later on in the season. As we also planted baby spinach. We have been harvesting it just after one month of actually planting and it keeps on giving. Uh, so let's quickly uh, walk over to the other side of the garden, uh, the Nodi garden, where we also sowed some brassicas. As you can see, uh, the cabbages are looking quite nice that we've planted in this side. They look healthy. Uh, we also, you can see the carrots as well as the beetroot is coming along quite quite nice nicely we planted uh, onion seeds last month they are growing and developing some nice beautiful green leaves so while i'm here in the garden let me also just harvest some of the beetroot i think i planted this in february i think they're looking quite nice this is quite nice uh, big beetroot there's another one that I also just want to have a sieve, yeah. Uh, and also next to it, I have some Swiss chard. So this is also the rainbow variety. Let me just also have a, some of that. Uh, remember last month we planted some bush beans. Just to give an update on that, they are actually growing quite nicely and they've sprouted. Last month, uh, last two weeks ago, I actually uh, removed my Tahitian butternut squash. If you want to see my experience, I'll put the link of that video up here. Uh, I've removed an, uh, the plant and also transplanted some seedlings. Now, the other plants that are still growing on in the garden include the garlic that we planted in April, as well as the peas. broccoli and cauliflower. Now we also planted some potatoes in this black growing bag. So this month we will just add the last bit of compost or crawl manure to increase the yield for the potatoes. So that is what the garden looks like at the moment and what we have done so far with the series. So for this month, we will be discussing some of the things that I will be planting in my raised beds. So let's go ahead and transplant some of the seedlings that we started in the previous month. Uh, this is my raised bed, and this raised bed was actually inspired by a book written by Hugh Richards. It's entitled Veg in One Bed. So this raised bed is uh, 3 meters by 1.2. So before we actually start, I have just make sure that I actually put some manure, crow manure, to feed the plants because the brassicas, they are actually heavy feeders. 
and so I will then plant my potatoes in these two sections. I will space my potatoes approximately 30 centimeters apart and two years ago I actually planted some sweet potatoes also in this raised bed and I had quite a beautiful harvest. I'll put a link of that video up uh, as well in the description. So the rest of the other stuff that we will be transplanting today are some of the brassicas that I started last month. So this is some cabbage. I planted some additional onion seeds uh, indoors just to allow them to develop to get a head start. So I will also be transplanting some of these onion seeds. Uh, now this will also help to deter some of the pests. So another brassica that, uh, that I will also be planting is also some the broccoli as well as some of the cauliflower. I will transplant them in this bed. So, as I indicated earlier, winter is here. I've made a video on some techniques that you can use for your winter vegetable garden. I'll put a link there. But thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your support and I'm looking forward to see you in future videos. Keep on sewing. Thank you. Peace.